Hey, welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. When last we left off, we had just outfitted our lance, or both lances, with uh, not necessarily new mechs, but, but uh, different gear. So we're going to take a contract right away here. And I think what we're going to do is, um, because we've added a Wolverine and we pulled out the Blackjack with the Flamers, I want to try off a, try a mission that's, uh, you know, two and a half skulls rather than three. Um, because I, I'm, I'm not sure if he's ready to face heavy mechs yet. I just want to make sure that Wolverine's working for me. So we're going to take a, a, a two and a half skull mission here, settling a grudge. Within the last three months, the local pirate organization has struck our facilities, personnel, and the supply convoys over a half a dozen times. My superiors in the state leadership would like to even the score. I'd like to hire you to, fire, to find a pirate lance and destroy it to demonstrate we're not without military resources on Hazelden. So we're going to go down to the planet's surface and take on a uh, mech. Now I know we need cash, but we're going to leave that for our pirate lance to do. We're going to go for maximum salvage on this because I'm hoping we can get some good gear. Maybe there's a heavy mech down there, maybe there isn't, I'm not sure. So let's pull, oops, uh, where are we here? Going to leave our pilots in. Um, so we're going to put height in the Wolverine. Um, we've got shoot and move now, so we can um, move in, fire, fire, and then get out. So we're going to take that, um, put him in there, and then the rest of us are pretty much still in the same mechs. I'm not really happy with the way the uh, Gauss Rifle is performing in this Hunchback, so it, we may pull it out after this mission, not 100% sure yet. Alright, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. So it looks like we got a Lance going to be up here. Uh, we played this kind of map before. There's probably going to be another reserve, another uh, um, lance coming from back there. So we're going to reserve back to turn one again, like we normally do. And I want to see how fast height can be here in this in the new Wolverine. Should be marginally faster than our other mechs. Hopefully we can find a supercharger or a uh, something along that line to speed him up a little bit. I don't want to increase the engine size. So let's get him up in here. See if we can see anybody yet. Nope, not yet. So let's move Flatliner. We're going to sprint him up this way as well. Should we be, should be able to spot people now. So we've got one 55 tonner. And that's all we can see so far. Okay. Let's get Advanced Skater up there. So I like this map because there's plenty of these um, little... Uh, um, rock hills here that we can move up and get behind. Um, we can use it to minimize the number of mechs that are facing us at one time while maximizing the number of mechs we can use to face them. So we're going to close yep. with ground zero first. I want to see who this guy is. We don't want to get too much in the open. Let's pull into here. Understood. Moving fast. So it looks like it's a Wolverine. Sure is. Wolverine DS. What's that? AC5 rotary. Two medium X pulses. Where's the rotary auto cannon on this guy? Engine and heat bank. He's got a mask and an ECM. Rotary's in the arm. So we should be able to right arm this guy. What's in the left arm? The X pulses? Yeah. So we're just gonna fire this guy. Fire straight out. They haven't moved, so we should be able to get two hits here. Looks like a couple of arm hits to me. Nope. Torso hits. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. I'm Let's here. get Flatliner around. Put some missiles down on this guy. Time to earn our money. Time to earn your money, buddy. Uh, let's leave the ER small off for now. Um, we're going to have to start managing our heat in the Target. desert here. We don't want to get too hot until we know what we're, what we're up against here. Okay. Potential for a knockdown now. So he's moving first. Yeah. Don't blame you, buddy. I'm gonna do something I normally wouldn't do. How's it going? Um, can't get eyes on. I was gonna flank him on this side and try and get. Oh, we can get eyes on him over here though. So let's move to this position. Let's go. Staying a little bit farther back. Fire with what we can. We, I know our large lasers up and running. ER medium. Let's fire both of these guys. Okay, a couple misses. That is a mesh, buddy. So we got two more mechs coming in here. Let's see anybody over here. Need something, Chief? 
we have the weights on these? 45 and 50. Okay, so it's not too no bad. We're going to go after this guy, and we're going to fire everything but the rocket launchers. Um, I think I'm going to manage heat just on this turn, because we're going to have not a good chance to hit her, so we're going to leave one pulse off. Got it. So two pulses hit. Goss miss. That Goss, I'm going to lose that Goss. I think that AC-10 that we have that does an extra 10 damage, I think I might drop that in, see how it goes. Or I might consider putting the Ultra AC-10 in. So that could be a trebuchet. Is that 15 missiles or 10? That's not a trebuchet at 45 tons. Okay, so we're going to move straight up here before that Wolverine can get away. Uh, I'm going to move back here into the tree line. Minimize any damage coming in. Gonna fire both on this guy. On We're heating up fast, but I want to apply as much damage to him before he gets away. Not worried about the Rotary 5, we've got one at home, so that's fine. I want more mech parts out of this guy. So we're gonna try and maximize the salvage off him. So let's try and knock him down. How's the stability here? Not that bad. Uh, let's hold off on the missiles. Let's bring in this guy. If we get lucky enough with Vein Skater, we might be able to pull that arm off. So now we can go with three medium pulses. Fire away. There's a leg hit. See, Wolverine's got a fair bit of armor, so... He's unsteady, but he's going to be moving. Here comes the ACs. Okay, one hit. Good thing we're in the trees. Looks like he's got a bit of stability back here. Yeah, looks like he's got all his stability back. So, uh, what do we got in the leg here? 23, 5 in the arm. So he's going to lose that arm. So, let's Better. flatline this guy. Ba -dum -tsh. Uh, and then we here. will only fire with the missiles and splash him up a bit. Try and get that leg and arm off him. Mostly upper body hits, looks like. Arm is gone, so the rotary's gone. Hit. He's a bit stressed out. I don't blame him. So height. Looks like they've got guys moving in the back there. Maybe we got more guys coming up. Let's move height up uh, straight in on this guy. Because we're going to move him out first next turn. Move, fire, fire, move. So we're going to unload on him with everything. Here we go. So he's panicking now. Let's see what they do here. We go before him next turn. Got a couple of PPCs we can unload on him. I think I'll just use a single and do a call shot to the leg. And Sazi. So those are rocket launchers. I think we've got a few pieces of this guy at home. Yeah, they are rocket launchers. He's not using them all. Maybe because of the heat. I'm trying to manage heat a little better. And a hunchback. Okay, this guy's what? I missed. He's the pirate version, isn't he? SP? No, he's SRM version. Okay, so he's got some pretty good armor. So Ground Zero is going to go first. We're going to move... Um, should we sprint or just move? Let's just move. I want to have a better chance to hit. Get rid of it. A little bit a little bit of the instability. We're going to do an offensive push against the Wolverine. Going to go after his leg. Firing one PPC only. Nice. Leg, torso. That's the engine gone. So hopefully we can maximize, sal maximize some salvage off that guy. That's a lot of missiles. Katyushka, probably. Or somebody with rocket launchers. It looked like a 55 ton it said. I don't know what, he, what it was though. So we said we we're going to move height next. Um, let's unload. What's the chance to hit this guy? Eh, lousy. I'm not liking the chances to hit on the SRMs. I think what I might do is remove the dead fire ammo and go more with um, the Artemis system and the bonus, like the Artemis ammo. So we're going to fire on the Hunchback. I think better chances to hit. Our heat's going to be hot here, but we'll manage that in a minute. Wow. Such a lackluster attack that was. 
Somebody else jumping in here. So that could be another Ansazi with rocket launchers firing. There's three of them back there, though. What do we got? We don't know the weight on these guys. So, see if we can get Flatliner a little closer to find out what we're dealing with here. Double gonna move forward. Go. Not that worried about uh, the Ansazi. We're gonna go after this guy here. Gonna fire everything but this small. Eh, let's fire the small 59% chance. It's a good enough chance to hit. Alright, not too bad. Can't see what they are yet. 55, 45, 55, okay. Hmm. Hey there. Interesting. Let's sprint up here. Once again, we're going to fire on the hunchback from the side. Keeping the rocket launchers off, we're going to fire everything else though. Nice. See, now that I talked about replacing that Gauss rifle, it's going to start hitting. I bet you it hits from now to the end of battle. But of course, now that I've said that, I bet you it won't. <laughs> Such is my luck. Okay, this will probably be a fire and move situation. Okay, minus one initiative. Reporting. Serious armor loss. Which means I think we need to offensive push that hunchback. They've got more mediums than us, so... Yeah, he's going to run. We're going to offensive push that hunchback. You're bailing out on your friend there, buddy. You. So we will move. just walk it forward. Roger. And we're going to do an offensive push on the hunchback. Push him back one turn so we go before him. And I'm going to make the attempt for a headshot, So, because why not? Oh, yeah! There you go. Lethal shot to the head. Target eliminated. I just wanted to push him back one turn, but we pushed him back forever. Okay, so they don't have any visible... We're just going to reserve. There's no point in doing anything yet. Let's let, let them move in here. So we're still up against four mediums. So now we've evened the odds. What do we got here? Kentaro, okay. Those are notoriously overheaters. They will overheat. So this guy's coming back in. They're going to try and maximize their damage output. This Ensazi is our next target. Don't like the fact that he's so close. So Kentaro, three SRM6s, LRM5. Yeah, these guys run really, really hot, so I'm not that worried about them. So Height's going to come back here. We're going to sprint it back. And I'm going to plant my ass, like, right here. And we're going to open up on this Ensazi here. So let's leave off the SRMs and go with everything else. Here we go. Okay, I want this guy gone simply because he's kind of behind us and I want to be facing the enemy when we're uh, engaging with them. You. So we're going to move... We're going to sprint. Uh, Vein Skater over here. We're going to move him to the point where those enemies can't see us but we can see the uh, Ensazi. We're going to open up on him. Uh, we're going to fire everything but the rocket launchers. Yeah, see, once again... As soon as I talk about losing that Gauss rifle, it starts hitting with everything. Okay, flatliner. Same idea. We're going to move back over here. Turn ourselves slightly, and we're going to unload on the Ansazi. Going to fire everything, because we have really good chances to hit. Now, I could do a, try to do a called shot on this guy, but I don't think there's any point. Actually, does this have an engine in it? It's got the ECM, so he doesn't have a large engine. Patchwork materials, rocket launch. Okay, let's just fire. Right torso gone, fail a stability check, takes a pilot wound injury, injury ignored, critical. and a knockdown. Minus one initiative, health three of four. Okay, so this is the time Good to go. when we're going to give... What do we do here? Do we go after the Kentaro with the PPCs? I think so. I was considering using them on the Ansazi to maximize salvage, but I'm thinking we're going to use height to go after his head with the with the uh, SRMs. So I'm going to fire on this guy before he gets too close. Maybe we can tag him and apply a little damage to him. So two hits, stripping a bit of armor. 110 points of armor gone off him. Another 55 tonner. 
Wouldn't be surprised if it's another Kentaro, but... Somebody with lots of missiles. And I don't think those are rocket launchers, so what's 55 tons with lots of missiles? Hmm. Orders. So we're going to move right back here. Stand right over them. And we're going to use SRMs. Pull off this. Just go with that. We're going to go for a headshot and fire. I think we're going to end up killing them here, probably. Nope. Yep. There we go. Target down. Yeah, we did head hit them, too. Okay, so now we've got two more mechs that, that can go before, before uh, end of the turn. So let's get this Kentaro to come a little closer. Then we're going to move out with Bane Skater and Flatliner. Yeah, he's going after the trebuchet here. Yes, Commander. So let's walk out Flatliner. Kind of position ourselves out here. Not very much evasion on him, but I'm not that worried. Leaving the small and medium lasers off, we'll fire everything else. Locked on target. I think we have some Kentaro parts. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, Commander? but it'd be nice to have a, a Kentaro. They've got nice okay. missile and laser hard points. So let's fire at this guy, leaving the rock launchers off, but we'll fire with everything else. Yeah, I see the Goss has missed that time. I think it's been 50-50 this battle. Alright, so now I'm moving around to the front of these two guys, because I want him to shoot me instead. So I'm going to fire at this guy, and we're going to unload with everything. Yeah, now he's thinking twice about staying there. That's a hit. Should have did an offensive push to stop him from moving, but uh, I want these other two guys to move in and find out what we're up against here. Oh, he didn't move very far. Alright. Respect. You're going to die, but, you know, respect. So, that CT is looking pretty damn low, and so is the torso, so... I'm receiving you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to move on to this side. And fire straight on them. Both ERs and all the LRMs. Let's see if we can take them down here. There goes the torso, there goes the CT, and he's done. Hope we can salvage that. So if you really want to take torso and CT, you really got to move to the sides like that. If you fire a splash head on, you still got all the other side that you could hit. So, all right, we're going to reserve, see what they do. 55 tonner moving in, not really moving in. Okay, height. Do your job. Copy that. You are the spotter. So what do we got here? We have got Katyushka. I didn't know the Katyushkas were 55 tons. And a Katyushka. Well. Okay. Two lasers firing with both. I'm on We do have Katyushka parts, I do believe. Good to go. Let's just walk it up here. We're not going to... No got. point in sprinting. Firing on the same guy, using all the weapons. Goss rifle hits, nice. And we still go before them. So, ground zero. Going to walk it up to here. Moving out. And we're going to do an offensive push on this Katyushka, so we all go before him. Going to target the leg with one PPC. Fire. Leg hit, nice. So we should be able to bring him down this turn. At least get him on the ground. This guy's moving in. Now these guys have got some good missile targeting systems. Okay, no, that's fine. If you want to hide, that's fine. I don't mind that. Alright, so Vinskater, you don't need to move. Bye. We're going to attack this guy straight out. We got lots of offensive push op opportunities here. So we're going to shoot this guy. Going to aim for his leg. Which he's got left here, 46. So we're going to use all these, I guess, uh, and just fire. Okay, not enough to take his leg. Certainly make him unstable, though. So flatliner. We're going to move forward. We're going to multi-target on this one. I'm going. Actually, we're not. We're going to pinpoint target on this one. So we're going to use an offensive push on this guy. I want to try and take this leg for sure. So what do we got here? 55 and 2. So we're going to fire on his leg. Leaving the LRMs off, we'll just go with the two later medium lasers. 
Just need one hit, we got them both. That should take the torso as well. And a knockdown. So all we need is one more hit to the head. Okay, so height turn. Um, what do I do here? Let's get him point blank on this other cat, Yushka. All right, let's move. Make it difficult for him to fire on us. Uh, we've got good chances to hit there. How much has he got left in the CT? A fair bit. But he's also got a lot more in the leg. So let's just go for a head hit. So if we fire on him and go for a head hit, and we just use the SRM-6s. All we need is one. Do we get one hit? Nope. Okay, well we tried. Did we get any other leg at all? No, we got mostly CT on that. Trying to trade off missiles, are you? Sure. Alright. A little unorthodox, but we're going to attempt this. See if we get both in the leg. No. Bye. Noth nothing. Enemy down. Yeah. We had to attempt something. Wow. That was like no damage. And he's unstable. Just about unstable, but he will be in a second. Yes. So, yes. Bane Skater. Uh, God, I don't want to be behind him. I want to... There we go. I don't want to be behind him because I want to try and take his legs off. So, let's make him... Let's make him unstable so we can knock him down. Let's go this route. Let's just fire these. Okay, so he should be unstable now. My flamer is empty. Yeah, I know your flamer is empty. Okay, so height. Let's come around this side. And we are going to shoot with an offensive push. Going to go after his leg. Didn't work out so well last time, but we're going to attempt it Lock this it time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Did we get the leg? I don't think we did, but we knocked him down. Okay, three or four. So, what do we got here? 18 left in the leg. So I'm going to use the Flatliner Special. We're going to go after him with both LRMs, and we're going to go for a headshot. We might take the leg in the process. Well, he's unsettled anyway. All right, well, we go before him anyway, so do we take the leg or do we take the head? Take the head. Well, we got the leg and the torso. I think I hit something good. I think you did too. Okay, what do we got left on this guy? Crap, he's going to die. Oh well, let's finish him up. Not much we can really do about this. This battle's over. Finish him off. Let's go. I'm on him. There we go. All right. Well, we didn't maximize salvage too much out of this mission, but I think we can get some half decent things. Mission. See what we get. We certainly minimized their incoming damage. 140,000. So a little bit, a little bit of that's going to go out in repairs. We didn't lose any components or anything, which is great. Uh, let's go next. Some good XP too. 11.24. Uh, so we've got a chance for lots of hunchback parts here. Only one chance for an Ansazi part. A uh, chance for trebuchet parts, or Katyushka parts, I mean. One chance for Kentaro, more Wolverine chances. Alright, let's see what we're going to take here. X-Pulses, maybe. This one, no. Um, what do we got down here? Stealth Armor. That's a possibility. ECM. It's a smaller ECM. Gyro plus one melee. Double heat sinks would be nice, but they don't have any. Mask, we were talking about that. So let's put that in there. Artemis system, we still have two. Endosteel patchwork materials. 
That's three slots though. Mask we definitely want for the... It's two tons though. We definitely want that for the um, Wolverine to get him a bit of speed. Although it's going to generate plus 20% weapon heat. So you got to think about that. Still got a fair bit of end of steel. Maybe we take the patchwork materials then? I mean, I'm not sure which mech we'll put it on yet, but an extra 0.75 tons, we could use it for armor. Or we could go for the engine. How much is this worth? 1.3 million. This is just a little over one. Um, yeah, I think that's... I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, ECM is actually not bad either. Defense by, against missiles. We should be able to buy those soon enough, I think. Um, I really need to maximize the rare materials that we're going to be getting from drops here. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. Let's confirm this. So we got one Nsazi piece. Nice. Uh, two Hunchback and two Wolverine pieces. Wolverine I'm kind of happy with. Uh, medium, small, S, uh, um, uh, small pulse laser. LRMs, yeah, not much else arm hand. Okay, 24,000. So that means we made about 115,000 on this mission, which is nice. We really, really needed that. We were down to five, so we did okay. Um, I think before we end this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the barracks and we're going to refit that Wolverine um, once it comes back. So let's uh, manage our tasks a bit and let's move it up. So where are we here? Wolverine's actually at number one. So it's four days away. Wow, everything else will be prepared by that time too. So how? when is our next um, financial report? Seven days. So I think we can wait the four days. I think I'm okay with that. Hey boss, we've just okay, drive repair is complete. complete. That's going to help out a little bit. So there we go. Are we back with it? We are back with it. Cool. So we're going to go to the mech base re really quick. We got 121,000 to play around with, but we're not going to need that much. Let's go to the Wolverine. We're going to refit it. Okay, so um, first things first, we're going to switch out the ammo. We're going to remove the dead fire ammo because we do definitely want to go with a Artemis system. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to get some slots here. So the heat from the L uh, SRMs are going to remain the same. Um, what can we do here? We'll have greater chance for the SRMs to hit to do 10 damage each. Hmm. Do I want to pull out the ECM Guardian? That's really, really handy. I mean, we could pull, a du pull out the double heatsink and put a regular heatsink in. That'll save us two slots. But then we're going to need weight. So the X-Pulse is one ton. ER medium is a ton. Let's go to equipment real quick here. Um, we do have... But that's like three slots. We wanted this mask in here too. It's three tons. I don't think this... I don't think we're going to be able to get what we want out of this. Unless we do something like pull out the ferro fibers or something. Or lower the engine. Weight to be able to put in what we need. We pull out the ferro fibers... We have to... Ah, uh, we can't do that, though. Hmm. So, first things first. Let's do this. Uh, I don't think we have any heat sinks. We do have... we got a couple heat sinks left. So, let's do that. Swap that around. Losing a little bit of heat, but we're going to be gaining it back because we're doing this. TTS plus one missile. I think we can leave that in there. Where's the Artemis system here? No, we can't have the TTS together with So we can pull that out. So that's saving a ton right there. So now we're back at 55. Uh, but our heat sinking is where? Is over now compared to what it was before. So maybe we pull... Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. We can... This is 0.75 tons, right? Is there any way we can get this map? Oh, well, the thing is it's going to... Plus 20% generate from weapons fire. Plus 40 sprinting distance, 15% walking distance. I mean, we can lose... We can reduce the fusion core and put this in. Instability when destroyed, too, though. Um, hmm. We can pull a heat sink out, put this in, lower the fusion core size... for the speed. 
No, I don't think so. I think maybe we're going to leave it exactly like we have it. Um, I'm not really happy with the heat sinking at the moment. I mean, we could add... We've got one of these. It's not going to give us much. Plus 2% sprinting distance. Um, don't really think there's anything else we could do here. Ballistic shoulder mount we want to keep. Oh, boy. Um, weapons... I mean, we could pull out a heat sink and put, like, what kind of laser would we put in, though? Small pulse laser. 13 heat, though. Just a regular medium laser, maybe? Or a little extra firepower? I don't like the idea that we're losing uh, damage here. Let's put the exchanger in here, pull the heat sink out, and put in this. So our heat efficiency isn't really perfect. We got a little, f we got four over, but I think if we rotate that medium laser on and off, I think that's really going to help. I mean, the X pulse was what 20 heat or something, 18 heat. It's more damage, but that extra heat, like it's like double, like two medium lasers, right? And really, we're we're battling space and heat more than we're battling damage at the moment. So let's go this route, I think, with the Wolverine. We're going to confirm that. And then let's have a look at the Hunchback, too. I think we were talking about removing that Gauss rifle. I mean, it performed marginally well the last time, so let's refit this guy and have a quick look at him. we still got some money we can spend here. So the Gauss rifle is 15 tons. We've got 2 tons of ammo, so that's 17 tons. And... The Clan Ultra 10 is 10 tons, and we would need at least 3 tons of ammo, so it's 13 tons. That would save us a fair bit of weight. We could pull out the rocket launchers too, and maybe put in another missile system. So let's do that. Let's take this guy out, put the Clan Ultra 10 in. Let's pull the rocket launchers. Let's pull the Gauss ammo. Uh, we're going to move one heat sink up here. And we do have a double heat sink kicking around too, I think, somewhere. So AC 10 ammo, we're going to go one two, and three tons of ammo. That's 12 turns of firing. I think that's probably going to be plenty for what the weight class that we're at. Heat sinking has dropped a little bit, but that's fine because we've got our equipment real quick. Um, we do have that double heat sink we can add now, which is going to help. Um, so what are we at now? Yeah. Two, three medium pulses we were doing for accuracy. I think we'll leave the medium pulses for accuracy. I think that's fine. Double heatsink fusion core, gyro. So I think we're okay with that. Maybe it's just... What, what can we put in missile-wise? I mean, uh, those two RL-10s were okay. I guess we could just leave them there. Um, we do have a streak 6, though, but that's going to put us over in weight. And then we're over in heat sinking as well, right? Hmm. SRM2 is one ton. I mean, we could put an SRM6 with plus one accuracy and then accuracy ammo. But it's 14 heat. We're already over with heat, right? Streak's even hotter and weighs more. Got an SRM2 streak is a waste of time. So maybe we just do that. Just go back to the rocket launchers again. Just add the rocket launchers back in for now. And then three more heat sinks. If we have three heat sinks, that is. I don't think we do. Yeah, we do. So one, um, two, three. So what are we at here? 80, 81. We shouldn't be counting these guys. Those guys generate 10 heat. So it's um, so 78 heat and 81 heat sinking. So I think we're good here. I think we're going to leave it as this. I'm feeling more comfortable now with this AC-20 in here, So, because if even if we miss with one shot, there's a chance we could hit with a second. And that Gauss rifle, even though we had the range on the Gauss rifle, it still wasn't doing the, what we wanted to do. Um, we go to weapons real quick. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, there's the AC-5 rotary. 
but that's that weighs more. We need to carry way more ammo with that, so that's really a waste of time. There's the AC-20 Ultra, same same deal, more damage, but it weighs more. We have to carry way more ammo, so really on this mech, it's not worth it. If we had the AC-20 Ultra Clan version, then maybe, um, but right now it's really just not worth it, and there really isn't anything um, that's worthwhile right now. We got the Artemis LRM ammo too. I'm wondering if we should uh let's confirm this. Let's quickly have a look at our trebuchet. I mean we're doing pretty well with hitting with the trebuchet. Um simply because the missile systems aren't good and we have the TTS plus two missile. But maybe we change I'm thinking that if we take, so we've got the arm mount on the one, if, uh, there's, there's no way we can get two tons out of this guy though, I was hoping we could pull two tons out, I mean we could take the case out and put Pharaoh in if we have any left over, we don't, so we could prioritize getting Pharaoh. No, I think we're going to leave him for now. I was hoping to get the Artemis and the Artemis ammo in there to give him a better chance to hit, but we'd have to pull out the lasers, and I don't really want to do that at this point. So let's just confirm that. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just back out of this. All right, so we're going to end the episode today. Um, we did pretty well. We got some uh, more mech parts, a little bit of tool, uh, a little bit of gear, a little bit of cash to get us out of that uh, big hole that we were in there a little while ago. Um, and we refitted a couple of our mechs to make them a little bit uh, more punchy I think when we're in battle so I'm going to move on and I'm uh, going to end this episode here and the next episode that I'm going to do is another uh, Pirate Lance episode we're going to try and get us get ourselves some cash um, so yeah I'll uh, see you all next time <laughs>